Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at quartiles and interquartile range. Let's do it. First off, we need to review what range is. Um, if you did that in the previous lesson, then this will be a good review. You're already good to go on that. We also have to talk about median because it's very important in finding the quartiles. Then we'll get into what quartiles are and how to find the interquartile range. So lots to cover today. Let's get into it. Range. The range is your maximum value minus your minimum value. Oftentimes I've said put the order or put the numbers in order. If you don't want to, if you feel like you can pick out the greatest and the least number in this list, that's fine. Um, for our purposes with finding the interquartile range, you definitely are going to need to put it in order. But if you're just asked to find the range, you don't necessarily have to. The range is the maximum value minus the minimum value, in this case 11 minus 6, and that is equal to 5. So that's just a quick review on what range is. Personally, I put the numbers in order from least to greatest. It just helps with sorting and organizing and all of that. Let's go on to our median. We talked about the median being that divider in the middle of a freeway. And the way you find the median is you list the numbers in order from least to greatest and find the number that's in the middle. So if I was given this list of numbers, I would put it in order from least to greatest and then kind of cross off the lowest and highest number and kind of work my way in until I hit the center. Now I'd like you to find the median of this list of numbers. Remember your steps here. Go ahead and put the numbers in order from least to greatest and calculate or find the middle number. Go. All right, this is what I did when I listed them in order. Again, I move my way into the center and find that five is the median. It's really important that you put them in order from least to greatest, otherwise you're just grabbing a random number. Now, there is a bit of a snag with the median and that is if there is an even number of numbers. As you can see there, you would least list the numbers in order, find the middle number, and have to calculate the mean. So you would find the middle two numbers, and that mean is 8 plus 10 divided by 2, which is 18 divided by 2, in this case 9. 9 is exactly between 8 and 10, so that is your median. 9 is the median there. Now, why have we spent so much time on range and median? Because those are the skills that you're going to need to be able to calculate the quartiles. Let me just um, kind of move back to this example that we had from earlier. A quartile is like this. If that's your median, see over there on the right in the picture, with the um, divider between highways, that's your median. Your quartiles are there and there. They are the middle of each side of that, the lower half of the list and the upper half of the list. That's what the quartiles are. In other words, they're the median of that half of the list. So if we're going to calculate quartile one, we have to look at that lower half of the list, two, three, four, four, five, and find the middle of it. And that would be by doing that. See what I did over there on the left side of this list? I moved my way in, basically pretending like the list was only two, three, four, four, five. That is quartile one, and that is quartile three. The median is like quartile two, all right? So it's one, two, and three. And that is how you calculate quartiles. Uh, having a list of 11 numbers is really great for this, okay? Because finding the median goes right to the middle. There's no finding the mean of the list of numbers or anything like that, all right? So I want you to try this. I want you to try and find the median and the quartiles for this list of numbers. I've got my visual over there on the side to help you remember what it is. Remember, you have to find the median, so the, the numbers have to be in order from least to greatest. That's the first thing getting started. 
Go ahead and try that out. Three, two, one, go. Welcome back. That's my list of numbers in order. When I have a list of numbers that's like this, it's like 11 numbers long, I count how many numbers there are. And then when I list them in order, I also count how many numbers there are just to verify that I am definitely um, getting the right number there. All right. Now I'm going to find the median. To save a little bit of crossing off of numbers, I am going to put X's above them as I go towards the median. That way I can then look at the list of numbers kind of separately without needing to uncross them off. Now I'm going to calculate the first quartile by crossing off the numbers into the center. And I'll calculate this, the third quartile by crossing off the numbers on the right into the center of that list. That gives us quartile one, quartile three. That is what we're looking for. All right, and that's it. We have calculated quartile one, quartile two, which is the median, and quartile three. We never call them median quartile two, by the way. All right, now, I'm going to change things up a little bit here and talk about interquartile range. And this is when we bring everything together. The interquartile range is the range between quartiles, or in other words, quartile three, the maximum quartile, minus quartile one, the minimum. Maximum minus minimum gives us our range. So in this case, the range between the quartiles is 15 minus nine, quartile three, minus quartile one, and that gives us six. Six is our interquartile range. Pretty straightforward. So finding the interquartile range is actually really easy compared to finding basically three medians. All right, I want you to try it. I want you to calculate the interquartile range for this entire list. This is bringing everything together. I know you can do it. Pause the video, try it out. Three, two, one, go. All righty, let's list the numbers from least to greatest. We're going to move into the middle to calculate our median. Then we'll find the median of the first half or the, the side on the left there, right? That's quartile one. Then we find quartile three over here. That's the first big step. We've identified the quartiles. Now we need to find the interquartile range, which means taking the maximum quartile or quartile three minus quartile one. In this case, it's, whoa, that's not right. It's 14 minus seven. Boom, I fixed it. Ha ha ha. All right, the magic of editing. All right, there it is, 14 minus seven, which leaves us with seven as our interquartile range. Perfect. Now we are going to look at some more complicated quartile ranges now, ones that have even numbers. And this is when it adds in an extra step, but it stays basically largely the same as what we were doing before. So here I'm gonna show you how to deal with an even number of numbers. First of all, you list them in order from least to greatest. That was always the same. Then. We use these X's to come into the middle to find our median, all right? Now the median is not six and six. There's not two medians. The median is this line between those two numbers, all right? So when you are calculating the, the intercourt or the quartiles on either side of that, you include the numbers on both sides. So in this case, I'm gonna start on the left. I would include the six. And when I go on the right, I include the six as being part of that list, all right? The median is the average of those two numbers, so it's actually between those two numbers, okay? That's important when you have a list of a, an even number of numbers. Then, you find your quartiles, you do your interquartile range, which is seven minus four, and that gives you three. Notice in this case, I skipped the step of actually calculating the median. 
you don't actually need to calculate the median. I didn't need to do 6 plus 6 divided by 2 because I was just finding quartile 1 and quartile 3. So I just needed to know that that median was located right there. Okay, so if you do have an even number of numbers at the beginning, you can just draw a line in between and that's your actual median. All right, I wanted to bring out this vocabulary. Find the IQR. That's a shortcut that some people write, maybe because they hate letters, I don't know. But they write IQR to mean interquartile range. So if you ever see IQR, that's what that means. IQR is the interquartile range. You do it exactly the same way. And with this one, I do have us finding some more complex medians. All right. So if you want to try that one out, give it a shot. If you struggle with it, just continue the, the video and I'll show you how to deal with that. But I want you to try it out. Try out this challenge question. Three, two, one, go. Welcome back. We put the numbers in order, least to greatest. We find our median. Oh, there's one. It's a seven. That's nice. All right. To find our quartiles, this is when it becomes complex. Because look, there's two numbers in the middle of the quartile. There's two numbers in the middle of that quartile. So when I'm calculating quartile one and quartile two, I'm going to do it the same way I would calculate a median that had two numbers in it. I add the numbers up and divide by two. So the quartile one is three. Quartile two is 10 plus 14, which is 24 divided by two, it's 12. That's quartile three. And then we find the interquartile range by subtracting 12 minus three, which gives us nine. So this one here was a little bit more complicated because we had to find the mean or the average to be able to actually calculate our quartiles. Like I said at the beginning, having 11 numbers is definitely the easiest. On your worksheet, you will have some with 11 numbers, but you will also have ones where you have to calculate um, the average for to find your interquartile range. So you will need to know how to do this and you'll get some practice on it on the worksheet and also on the quiz. A couple things to remember. You always put the numbers in order. That is the number one mistake I see people do. They get caught up in all the other steps and they forget that step and everything falls apart. You need to have the numbers in order. Then you find the median, calculate the quartiles, boink, and your IQR or the interquartile range is quartile three minus quartile one. I hope that video was helpful for you. Make sure to practice using the worksheet and have a wonderful day.